Hi friends, welcome back to Storytime for Holy Week. Today is Thursday. Now I have a question for you. Do any of you have a rock collection? I had one growing up and there would be all kinds of rocks. Start over. Okay. Hello friends. Welcome back to Story Time for Holy Week. Now I have a question for you. Do any of you have a rock collection? I know I did growing up. I collected all sorts of rocks. Big ones, small ones. Some were shiny, some had bumps all over them. And others looked like shapes, like a heart. Now, today, our story that we're going to read is written by a lady named Patty Rockus, and she loves to collect rocks and make beautiful pictures out of them. She then photographs those pictures and puts them in books. And one of her books is the book that we are going to read today and that our friend Mrs. DeHaan is going to share with us, and it's called He is Risen. Rocks tell the story of Easter. So let's listen to this wonderful retelling of the greatest story ever told and look at all the beautiful rocks that our author friend has put together. Let's listen. Good morning. I have a beautiful book here called He is Risen. Rocks Tell the Story of Easter, which was written and created by Patty Rokas. As you will see as I read this story, all the illustrations have been done by using rocks. I hope you will enjoy this story as the rocks tell the story of Easter. He is risen. John 3, verse 16 tells us, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus loves me. We love him because he first loved us. 1 John 4, verse 19. Jesus came to earth to bring us healing and joy, and to lead us back to God. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulations. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. John 16, verse 33. The last week of his mortal life was the most important week ever. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Luke 19 verse 38. Many people celebrated him as the savior. The whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works they had seen. Luke 19, verse 37. But some people wanted to kill him. From that day on, they plotted to put him to death. John 11, verse 53. One friend betrayed him. Jesus said, Assuredly, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Mark 14, verse 18. Before Jesus died, he taught his friends important lessons at his last supper. Love and serve one another. He poured water into a basin 
and began to wash his, his, the disciples' feet. John 13, verse 5. Eat and drink in remembrance of me. This is my body, which is given for you. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. Luke 2, 19 to 20. Then he prayed in a garden, taking upon himself all our pain and sorrows, so that we can let them go. My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even to death. Mark 14, verse 34. Jesus willingly gave his life on the cross. He paid the price for all our sins to rescue us and bring us home. He has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. He was wounded for our transgressions and by his stripes we are healed. Isaiah 53, four to five. He was buried in a tomb. Then Joseph of Arimathea bought fine linen, took him down and wrapped him in the linen. And he laid him in a tomb, which had been hewn out of the rock. Mark 15, verse 46. After three days, Jesus came back to life. We will all live again because he conquered death. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. John 11, verse 25. Alive again, Jesus visited his friends. Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said to them, Peace to you. Behold my hands and my feet. Luke 24, 39, 36 and 39. He asked his friends to share the good news. Feed my lambs and tend my sheep. John 21, verse 15 to, eight, to 16. Jesus went to heaven. Why do you stand gazing up into heaven? The same Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will so come in like manner. Acts 1, verse 11. He promised to come back. I go to prepare a place for you. I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. John 14, 1 to 3. Jesus did all this for me and for you. I am with you always. Matthew 28, verse 20. How will you show your love for Jesus? If you love me, keep my commandments. John 14, verse 15.